So in this video, I'm continuing on from the first video that I made regarding gouache paint. Now the gouache paint I'm using is the Arteza or Arteza gouache 24 colours. I've selected these three that I explained in the previous video. And what I want to do, I've divided the plate off as I've mentioned uh, into four, but I'm then splitting it into three for the three primary colours. Primary as in first. So let's have a look at the yellow first of all. This is the first time I've ever used a gouache paint. First time I've ever even opened one. So we've got lemon yellow. Let's keep this in focus. Um, I just want to show you this is, it says premium gouache colour. On the back you've got more information. Designed in the United States. Manufactured in PRC, I think is People's Republic of China. Um, okay. Uh, as far as I know, on the box it says all these colours are non-toxic, which was very appealing for me to get. So anyway, let me open one. They're all 12 millimetres, 12 mil, as they say. Let's see if you have to pierce them. No, you don't. So I'm quite pleased about that. Let's squeeze it out. Okay. It seems to be... It's not runny, but it's not, it's not a stiff paint like oil paint. I'm going to put some on here. Let's put it there. So that's the yellow done. Let's have a look at the blue. What's that looking like then? So there we go. It's the ultramarine blue that I'm using. I don't need to give you the details now. You've seen on the first tube. So let's have a look at the blue. See, ultramarine blue is a lovely blue. They tend to use it for, you know, painting skies and things. So let's squeeze a bit out on there. There, four o'clock position, I want that. And then the red. Open that. This is a scarlet red that I'm using here. Uh, squeeze it out. <laughs> Nearly dropped it then. I'll get a tissue and clean that off in a minute because I absolutely detest a mess. So, okay. I've put the three colours now on the plate, as you can see. So I'll take the tubes off now and put them back in there. Uh, I've just cleaned that red up. <laughs> now I've put them back, but I've put them, I've turned them round to remind us of which one we've used. That one, that one, and that one. Oh, sorry, there. I've turned them round. Um, we could make a note of them. We've got lemon yellow um, there, and then we've got, what do we use, red, scarlet red, and ultramarine blue there. Now the plate that I've used is just a, a, an ordinary porcelain plate. You can see it's a shiny, smooth one. It's just one that we didn't need anymore. Ceramic, porcelain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's supposedly better for watercolour colours and gouache. Gouache is like a watercolour, a bit opaque. So I've got my brush ready. Let's have a little dabble with the paint, shall we, and see what they're like. So imagine you're absolutely new to this. I'm going to get some water and we're going to brush away and see what it's like. Just mix it in the middle, that's all I'm going to do. So I've been and got some water. Let's pull that so you can see better. There we go. Now I'm not, I'm not going to add any water to the brush just yet. Uh, I just want to get a feel of the red. Let's, have a, let's put a bit of red on the brush. I'll put it there. A bit more, I think. Now, with gouache, let me just explain. Unlike acrylic, if you leave acrylic out to dry, you can no longer use it. It hardens and it's a plastic. Whereas this is a water-based paint, Although if you leave it out, it'll dry. If you then add water to it, it'll then become back usable, which makes the quality of it, you know, the the advantage of using gouache very, very good. So let me just come up a bit closer so you can see that. It's, it feels very kind of thin. It's, it's easy to work with. Not like oil. Oil's really thick. Oil's more like thick toothpaste. This is like the consistency of, ooh, let me think, um, I don't know, like runny honey or something? Not that I'm suggesting you eat it. <laughs> okay, so 
on a white bit brush. I think I'm going to get a, a bit of blue or something. Should we make a purple? Oh no, I'll tell you what, we'll make an orange. Um, no, we'll make a purple. So let's add. I'm going to put the blue here and then add a bit more in between them. Okay. So I'm going to put a dab of blue there. We don't want too much blue because it's a strong colour. Then I'm going to come back and get some of that red. A bit of it like that. Let's just see how that goes. See the purple in it compared to the red. Put a bit there to show you. What's the difference between that? I'll put a bit here up next to the blue. So it's, yeah, it's very nice. It mixes nice. I think you need a little bit more paint than I realised um, to get anything significant. Anyway, I'm not going to make it a long video of colour mixing. I just want to mix these. Let's just make a, make an orange, shall we? Some of that. Let's get a bit of yellow. Put it there. And then get a bit of that red. See, that's a nice orange, is that, isn't it? I'm just picking at random, you know. Uh, just think about a colour, whether it's if it's dark, it's going to be strong. So use less of the dark colour in order to make the colour. Because if it, you'll overpower it with a dark colour. The lighter it is, the more you can use. So you can see there, I'll put a bit next to the red. See the orange there. And let's put a bit there. That's turned out really nice, hasn't it? Again, I'm going to clean the brush. You can only clean it so many times before that water gets too muddy. But for now, it's good enough. So let's. So we've got primary colours yellow, red and blue. We've made a secondary colour, which is the purple, lilac, whatever you want to call it, mauve. Then we've made an orange. And let's put a little bit... I'll tell you what, we'll take the yellow first. Put the yellow there. Let's get a little bit of blue because that's very strong. <laughs> See what I mean? Look at that green it makes. It's like a, it's like what's called a sap green. It's like a limey green there, more yellow. I mean, you can add more yellow if you wanted to lighten it up. Let's just do that. It's a nice colour green, isn't it? And then I'll just put some there. And then we'll just put some next to the yellow. Look, to give you an idea of what it looks like. So, again, so we've got a, a secondary colour in the purple secondary colour in the orange and a secondary colour in the green by mixing the primaries. Red and blue make purple, yellow and red make orange and yellow and blue make green. And you can make variations of these as we will do later on. Um, so for now that's just really what I wanted to show you. A quick simple video mixing the three primaries to make secondary colours. Uh, there's many variations of these later on as we'll, we'll do tertiary colours later on. Tertiary colours are in between basically. I don't get into that at the minute. Um, we can lighten a colour, darken a colour, get into browns, greys, etc, etc. So again, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, please subscribe and look out for my next videos. Uh, I'm going to make a series of these when I get time to make the next ones. Uh, I'm just doing some solar panels at the moment, so time's a bit limited. That takes my priority. It's a bit of a big job on the solar panels and brackets and putting them up and everything. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, catch you next time. Bye.